December 27th, um, my husband texted me and said, thanks for taking all my medication. And I kind of blew up. What medication know? was your husband accusing you of taking? Um, his insulin, his Adderall, and his sildenafil. Why would he think you took it? This is the plaintiff, Abby Flaherty. She says she's known the defendant since she was five years old. and She let him stay in her home because he wasn't welcome any longer in his. Whoa, the guy turned out to be a thief who stole her husband's medication and her child's iPhone. She reported it to the police. The iPhone mysteriously showed up in her house again, but it was busted. And the defendant refuses to pay the $264.25 he owes for the cost of the phone. This is the defendant, Chad Duckett. He says he'd never steal, let alone a child's iPhone. He also didn't damage an iPhone. He never stole any medication, and he has no idea why this person he's known since childhood would try to pin such a dastardly deed on him. He's accused of letting an old-time friend down. All parties, please get your right hand. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims and have their cases settled here before Judge Marilyn Millian in our forum, the People's Court. Be seated. Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome. Okay. Ms. Flaherty, uh, you were suing Mr. Duquette, who you allowed to stay at your home because, according to you, he stole several things from you. What happened? Um, on G December 27th, um, he was in our home. He got in the How did you two know each other? Um, we played baseball as a kid, um, probably about five or six. We lost touch and then kind of reconnected in 2014 and then lost touch again. But... Um, so why was he living with you? Because he couldn't be at his own home. Why? Um, because of substance issues. Okay, and do you have children? I do. Do they live with you? They do. So you brought a guy into who your did home not who, use, say it again. who did not use in my home. My parents- right, But he was thrown out for substance issues and he, you brought him into your home. So you guys must have been pretty close because- Not close, but- my okay, parents so also, you're not even close, but you brought him into your home to be exposed to your children. His parents trusted me and said, you know, can you keep him under your roof? For he was how long? only there for about 36 hours. How, no, but how long were you supposed to keep him under your roof? Um, he wasn't even there the 36 hours. That wasn't my question. It wasn't. When you ag agree to have him in your home, the guy with the substance abuse problem, you agree to have him in your home. There was no time limit. So he could have lived with you for years if no, things. No, I would never. It wouldn't okay, have been. Okay, so did you agree? It was the you said you said that you spoke to his parents. Yep. All right. Um, what did you tell his parents? How long he could stay there? What was it you said to them? It wasn't. They just said he couldn't stay there, and I said, well, he could stay with us for a couple of days. Well, if they don't want him, there's a reason, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, so he probably hadn't stopped using, right? Correct. All right. So anyway, he goes to live in your house, and what happens? Um, on January twenty, December twenty seventh. Um, my husband texted me and said, thanks for taking all my medication. And I kind of blew up. What medication was your husband accusing you of taking? Um, his insulin, his Adderall, and his sildenafil. Why would he think you took it? Um, I don't know, but I didn't take it. I know, but why would, it's such a weird <laughs> thing for your husband to accuse you of taking. Well, they were, those two were, had been sleeping on the couch the night before and he was up all night. So when he got in the shower. Who's, which he are you referring to? Chad. Okay. My husband was at work. When he got in the shower, I went through his bag, and my husband's Adderall fell out of his sock. I out of whose sock? You keep using pronouns. I don't know who you're talking about. Fell out of Chad's out sock. Of, out, of the, out of Chad's sock. And my mom saw them. Okay. So did you confront him about it? I did. And what did he say? I didn't do that. And I got in the shower, and he was gone with my sister. That's when I discovered... The phone was gone. Where had the phone been? Um, downstairs in the basement. Where? In my daughter's bedroom. In a drawer? On top of her dresser. On top of her dresser. Was your daughter home at the time? No. How old's your daughter? 11. Is it her phone? It was her brand new Christmas present. Okay. 
And so it was uh, on top of her dresser. And what happens? It was you not. You go down there and it's no when longer I, there. When I clicked together about my husband saying this to me, then find <laughs> the socks, I went downstairs. The phone wasn't there. I called Sprint at 210 and Apple at 210 because she had not locked it out. I don't know what that means. Why um, are you calling both so, companies? So no one can activate the phone, use the phone. They locked it out because she had not activated it yet. It was two days after Christmas. Okay. Um, but why Sprint and Apple? Had you bought have, it at Apple? We have Sprint service, and it's an Apple device. So they can lock it out two ways. Okay. And when you say lock it out, you mean prevent someone from using it? Yes. Okay, go ahead. Um, there was communication between his parents and myself. He stole a TV out of the back of his father's truck to bring to the house. And why was he stealing things? To um, get money for drugs? I would, I would yeah, assume right, so. Yeah, right, right. Right? I would assume so. Right, of course. Right? So, yeah. And that, so when did you, his parents tell you that he stole a TV from the back of our house? When did his parents tell you that? Before or after no. you admit him into your it home? Was, it was oh, Tuesday. God. Christmas was Wednesday. We took the TV and hid it. His father came over to the house and picked Wait, up. Wait, I don't know what you're saying now. <laughs> when did his father tell you he took a TV from me? Tuesday, the 24th. Before you bring him into your home? Yes. Tuesday, the 24th. Okay. And what happens? He burnt the box. How did he, he burn the box? He lit a bonfire in the backyard. But the TV was not in it. My parents locked it in their basement. Okay. His father came over and picked up the TV and the medication. Are you trying to say that he thought he was putting the TV on fire? He or was trying to get rid of the evidence because he took it out of the back of his father's truck. But his father got the TV back. And his father said... Don't worry. We'll so take care what of you it. do, according to you, is you bring in a known thief into your home yep. who has a drug problem around your children, and within days you are accusing him of taking um, things. And then he's that's that's what we're here about. He did you steal that iPhone? Absolutely not. Why does she think you did? I honestly do not know. Did I, you steal her husband's Adderall? No. She says she found it in your sock. She gave me, but let me borrow eight of them until I got my script. I ate five that day. I had three left over. I don't know how she would find them in my sock. If they, were, they were in my sock. I admit it. They were. Okay. She let me borrow them. That's it. That's, that's the end of that, really. Wait, so she gave you eight? Yep. Uh, did you give him eight? Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, did someone, did her husband give them to you or did she no, give no, them? Oh, no, directly she did. I, and I said I'd give them back when I got mine. You know, just. No, no. So you said, think your sister was in on it? Yes. I, Why do you think your sister was in on it? Because when Chad got in the shower the 27th, he was gone. They were gone for six okay, hours. Okay, because when Chad got in the shower, he was gone. <laughs> Did he go down the drain? I don't know I'm what sorry, you're saying. I'm sorry, when I got in the shower. When you got in the shower, came out, Chad was gone, gone with, with your my sister. sister. Does your sister have a drug problem? Um, that's questionable. Okay. Um, um, so why would she be in on it? Just for the money of selling your her niece's phone? No, but... This one, Chad sent a text message to my sister. Same sister? Yes. Okay. I want to see it in your sister's phone. Do you he have did. it in your sister's phone? Because that's in response to a question. Yes. And I want to know what the question your sister asked him was. So it is your sister here to testify <laughs> for you? No, she's not. But he texted my sister, why? You want to buy a new iPhone? I got one for sale cheap. Excuse my language. Unreal. And my sister wrote, what, Emma's? And then what does he answer? He didn't answer anything. So that was the proof. Okay, what we was your sister's question that he says why? I don't and, know. And I how don't did know this why. happen? Your sister showed it to you? Showed it to my husband. If your sister okay. showed it to you, why do you think your sister's in on it? If it if you're in other words, if your sister's trying to get catch him in whether he took Emma's phone, why do you think your sister's in on it? I'm not, I can't answer that question. Mom. Well, no, you can because you're the one I'm asking, and you think your sister's in on it. In fact, you went to the police and said your sister and he stole the phone. They put her on the f because of her message. Wait a minute. I thought she showed you that message you said. She showed the phone to my husband. I mean, I picked Why? Up. Because she's like, is that my niece's phone? He's trying to sell. Right, but she showed the phone to your husband implies she's not <laughs> in on it. Thereafter, you told police your sister was in on it. She was an accomplice. Yeah, he right. Just, you think she's in on it. Okay. Not... She's giving you evidence, hey, I think he stole it. You think she's in on it, right? Okay. So 
if she's in on it, why does she show your husband that text? Because she doesn't want to be around him either, and she was nervous. Okay. She's 22 years old. We're 40. So from this text, we went to the police. They went, the police went to his and house. And did, did you and your husband tell the police <clears throat> everything you've told me? Yes. Did you or your husband tell the police about drugs found in his sock? Yes. I have the police report. Let me see the police report where you and your husband tell the police that you found missing drugs in his sock. And by the way, did you find loose Adderall? Can you, well, I, it, listen, I may have you committed right now. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I, okay. I am not. Just stop. Sorry. All right, listen to me. Uh, did you find loose pills or a pill bottle in his sock? Loose pills. Okay. How do you know they're yours? Because um, they're my husband's, they're blue, they weren't mine. How do you know they're not his? I mean, he says they're not his and that you gave him eight pills, but how do you know? Like, how, if I saw a pill, I can't say, aha, that's my pill, because it looks just like every other manufactured pill. Understandable, but, because um, he didn't have any anyway, so I, my husband's medication was missing, and there it was. There's a question asked, and you, Answer, why are you want to buy a new iPhone? I got one for sale cheap, unreal. And then she says, what, Emma's? And then you don't answer. So what iPhone do you have for sale cheap, unreal? I was just joking. I was just messing around with her sister like we were joking around. And then all of a sudden Why it came. Why is that a joke? No, 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 before that. Like talking on a text. And then all of a sudden it came up that I stole the iPhone. <clears throat> and I'm like, I, I'm like, yeah, oh yeah, like I'm gonna try to put, I'm gonna put out a text, uh, I mean a, a message on say Facebook or whatever, selling an iPhone. Hey, I, I would never steal a daughter, I, I have three daughters. I'm sorry, <clears throat> so what is this? This is a joke? Yeah, it says, I mean, it, I, I'm like, are they, are they? So this is like in My Cousin Vinny, I shot the clerk, I shot the clerk. You're sitting here saying, I mean, it's her Sarcastically, family. Right. why? You want to buy a new iPhone? I got right. one for sale cheap. They're using this as evidence against you because that's exactly what they're accusing you of. Now, yeah. what I'd really like to see, and I can't from here, is the date, the time, the questions that were asked beforehand, you see? Um, that's pretty important to me because that is, that, and that's why I was asking for it because that would give me context. The police report you handed me says, Abby's husband, Terry, also reported prescription medication went missing while Chad was staying with him, but he did not wish to pursue it. Um, the Why doesn't he say, and he by the way, we found it in the sock? The way he didn't want to persuade us, he didn't care about getting a refill. He, that document has been scanned into his medical chart legally into his doctor's office. Uh, no, why doesn't your, that's not, doesn't answer my question. Why doesn't your husband say, and we found it in his sock? That's just what the police report, that's what they, we told them everything and that's what they wrote. Do you have your phone here? My phone? No, sir, do you have your phone? I do not. Why not? I just, I, I don't have a phone, actually. What but happened with this phone? This was, this was an iPad that I was using at the time. Do you have your iPad here? I do, I'm looking through the Okay, messages. here's what I want. I want to see messages from December. Do you, do you erase them or do you have them in there? I, th I only have Go from... over there, make sure he's not erasing anything. Oh, no. That's all right. No, yeah, no, I only have from, um, well, it depends on who, who we're talking about, from Carly, or it's only back from uh, Monday. So that was the one that was just, that they found the phone. That was the only one I have on there. All right, so now this phone that we're talking about, you end up finding. It was in the spice cabinet. My okay, what was it doing in the spice cabinet? Um, we're not really sure because but my- But he wasn't allowed back into your house after no, that. No, my sister was, is living in the house and she had communication with him. The officer who I called that night said, this is very sketchy. So we went to Apple and they gave us a printout. There's damage to the phone. Okay. Um, so they're gonna order a new one. Cause you have insurance? I have to call a sherry and pay a $200 deductible. M let me see the proof that you have to pay the $200 deductible. What I'm trying to understand beyond why you would let him into your home to begin with. Cause I was a nice is, person and I'm not, I mean, you know what? No, it's I because you're a be fool nice. and you weren't not, thinking exactly. like a mother. But what I'm exactly. trying to understand is there's a phone missing yeah. and then the phone surfaces. And then they're gonna give you a new phone. And they don't just give it, I have to do the $200 deductible, which I'm getting. Okay. And then the evidence you have that he took the phone yeah. is this one sentence. 
which I don't know what day it happens. I don't know how it happens. I don't know the circumstances of how it happens. And you find the phone in your own house. I didn't find you it. You want me to, who found it? My sister Carly. Okay. You want me to assume he stole the phone and that your sister's in on it, but your sister writes what, Emma's? And then shows it to your husband? Yes. Okay. What is your problem? Nothing. No, really, what's your problem? You Nothing. have a drug issue? I, I do not have a drug issue. I lost my amnesty car accident nine years ago. I got addicted to pills. I did. So, um, you know, I've been down that road a few times. I've messed up twice in the past year and a half. Once, once. That's it. No, I don't. No, I do once, not. Once doesn't exist. It's twice. No, no, no. I'm saying one time and one time. Okay. But there was two. No, I was just trying to just, just tell you. No, not at all. I, so, I do not. Uh, have you ever been arrested? I've been arrested um, a few times for, for what? Um, DUI when I was 18, and um, I when I got arrested one time, and I I had a fake twenty dollar bill on me, and I got it from like I had change in a hundred, I really did. I mean, I don't make money. Did you get convicted? I I pleaded out because it was Christmas with my three kids. And I, did you uh, get convicted of the first one, the DUI? No. Did you find your deductible proof? Um, I'm looking right here. It's. Um it shows on the, the actual bill because it's $15 a month for a Shurian, but it's a $200 deductible. I don't know how to get Once into again, a Shurian. Do you have proof of a $200 deductible? It's simple I because I use a Shurian, Shurian and I know how I would have proof of a $200 deductible. It's on paper that it's a $200 deductible. Do you but have it, yes or no? But I didn't pay the 200 yet, that's why. So I can go on to a Shurian, but I know I, it's the $200 deductible. I'm showing no, the insurance. No, it's not a $200 deductible on a $200 used phone. That's not how the deductibles for a Shurian work. It would, the deductible would be far less than $200, you see? I know that because it depends on how important and, and not how important, how expensive your phone is, how big your deductible becomes. So you're making that up, okay? okay? So I need the proof of what your deductible would be. And if you don't have it, you don't get it, okay. you see? But on top of that, I don't know whether he stole it or not. I think it's, yeah, that's a really good possibility, you see? Because he stole the father's TV, he's accused of, of you know, passing counterfeit bills. So there is a possibility, you see? But you have to be able to prove to me that he did it. I don't know if he did it, the sister did it. The only thing you have, other than pointing your finger at him, is this, that is it. It's this. And I don't know what question came before it, what question came after it, you know, why it is that if she's his accomplice, that she, that this wouldn't be a joke, because if she's his accomplice, then they're, you know, kidding back and forth or something. So if she's either not his accomplice, none of this makes sense. The reason he didn't get arrested for the phone is because there's insufficient proof. Now, in a criminal case, the burden's higher than in a civil case, but my Lord, we still have a burden in a civil case, you know? Right. Um, so I, you know, and then the thing is found in your house. I don't think you have sufficient proof, um, and I am going to rule in his favor in your case against him. Well, the plaintiff, Ms. Flaherty, could not convince the judge that she deserved to get the money she was seeking here in the court, so she didn't award it to you. What do you think? I would just like them to stop harassing me. Let me ask you a question. What's the relationship between you and your sister? Um, it's not a good one. That's pretty obvious. Yeah. This is kind of a mess. Mm -hmm. I think the judge also thinks you were kind of stupid to let him come into your house. Very stupid, but I have a heart. <laughs> and, and now no more heart. I'm, he's... Ugh. All right. Well, I hope you work this out. Thank you very much. Thank Sorry you. about that. Okay? That was my Take house. care of her. I know. All right, Mr. Ducat, if you'll step over here, let me just ask you. Sure. What, I mean, this is kind of a mess for you to go through. I know. What are you, what are you thinking about? What just happened? Uh, I'm, it's just there wasn't enough evidence of what happened. I mean, it's it's not even, it's a total um, phishing scam. You know, she made it all up in her head. I wouldn't steal a kid's phone. On, it's a Christmas present. So where are you living now? With if my you're, parents, with my... Um, so that it's your back? I never was out. 100%. I just was over there trying to help her. You know what I mean? She was having a hard time. She was, oh, you know. She let you in to help you. Uh, wrong. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wrong. That's what, that's what came out. I okay. know. That's All what's right. funny about it. All right. Well, good enough. Well, I, I hope you work this job. out. I hope she, she'll just Thank you very much. <laughs> I don't know. Quite a mystery, Harvey. What do you think?
So the plaintiff just didn't have the proof, Doug, that the defendant stole her iPhone. Basically, in a civil case, you have to just slightly tip the scales in your favor, showing that it's more likely than not, and it just didn't happen here. And that'll do it for this case. Litigants for the next case on the way into the courtroom right now. This is the plaintiff, Elisa Ray. She says the defendant was her landlord for 22 years. Then, one day out of the blue, the woman told her she had 60 days to get out. Huh? She never told her why. She never returned her security deposit. And to this day, the whole thing is one big mystery. Bottom line, she's owed $5,000 and is suing her here and now for just that. This is the defendant, Denise Carroll. She says the plaintiff constantly denied her access to the apartment, which, as a landlord, she has the right to have. After 22 years of living in the apartment, the plaintiff caused extensive damages. She used her security to make the necessary repairs and certainly doesn't owe this woman the money she's trying to sue her for today. She's accused of abruptly ending a tenancy. The defendant has filed a counter suit for $3,600 for storage of left behind belongings. All parties, please use your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says she rented from the defendant, get this, for 22 years. And then out of the blue, the defendant told her to get the heck out. But the defendant says after all those years, the plaintiff left the place a disaster. It's the case of Sing in the Blue. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, ma'am. You lived there how long? 22 years and five months. Wow. Right. And what happened? Uh, in May of... Was there a lease like every year that you'd signed? Yes, right. All right. And the lease was over when? September 30th, Okay. And then in May, what happened? May, I was given a notice that my um, rent was being increased by $100. And then in July... Yeah, but if you're in the middle of a lease, there can't be an <coughs> increase in your rent. Well, for the next lease period. Oh, she so was you were give, getting, so actually you were getting notified pretty early that in right. May, the rent would be increased in September. Correct. Okay, go ahead. And then in July of that, July, um, I think the 21st, I received a notice, <coughs> excuse me, that I had to vacate the unit. Okay, that your lease was not going to get renewed. Being renewed, correct. Okay. Uh, did you know why? No. Okay. And so what happens? You leave. Correct. And you don't get your security deposit back. Correct. Now, did you have a bad relationship with the landlord? It wasn't the greatest, but I didn't think it was the worst. Right. So. How would either of you ever know? You couldn't have lived anywhere else. It was 22 years. Like, you could, did you ever have a different tenant? No. Right. And yet you kept, this person was there 22 years. And yes. you kept her security deposit. She I'd be looking to give her a gold watch yeah. for 22 years of, of, of having a, t it's bizarre to me. Anyway, what kind of damages did she leave behind that would justify you taking uh, her entire security deposit? Walls had holes um, and dents in, the, dents in the walls, I do. May I have them? The kitchen floor linoleum was um, ripped. Well, when was the last time the kitchen floor linoleum was put in? 22 years earlier? Well, I was, I didn't uh, charge her for that at all. I assume that well, cost myself. Well, then let's myself. only discuss what you charged her for. Okay. Because that's what I have to determine whether that is justifiably $1,079.79, which right. was the Right, the no bath there was no bathroom uh, towel rack. I want for, did you send a letter itemizing what the damages were? I ha not to her. Yes, she did. She did? Yes. When did you get the letter? After I requested my security deposit. How long was that after you moved out? I, I um, moved out November 1st. Okay. So this, around December 5th, I believe, I asked her about my security deposit. And, and then, then when she, did you get the letter? Two days later. Okay. May I see the letter? So there were like maybe some pictures or something that were taped to the wall? Yes, um, and there should be a copy of the actual picture to show what was taped to the wall. Okay, uh, is this your daughter, I guess, or somebody yeah. was putting pictures, taping pictures to the wall? Yes, she did. Right, and so that did some damage to the wall. I yes. saw that. 
mm -hmm. is that this? Because it's stapled together. So yes. I'm thinking that's the residue this. from the tape. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was on the wall. Okay, but now had you painted in 22 years? Yes, I did paint part of the uh, apartment that needed it, her living room, hallway. Did you paint this room that's in question? No. In the last 22 years? It. Okay. No. Um, but I didn't charge her for paint. And I didn't charge her for the labor, for paint either. That's kind of not the analysis. The analysis is, is this normal wear and tear? Is this mm -hmm. something you would have to do anyway? Or mm -hmm. is this something that she owes you because it shouldn't be returned to you that way? This yes. Is, this is the analysis after 22 years. Yes. I don't get too many cases with 22 years involved. Mm -hmm. All right, so we have, um, I see like, you know, some banging up, I guess, of the, of the door jams. And there's oh, was slices. any of this stuff touched in 22 years? The door jams, the, the door molding or the doors, any of that? There was nothing wrong with the place when she first moved I, in. I only and want no. you to answer my question. Was no. anything done during the 22 years? So I need to know. I, I'm going to assume mm -hmm. you handed it to her fresh out of the box and perfect. I just also want to know mm -hmm. if some work was done in the last 22 years. No. Okay. Which door is this? Do you know? A linen closet door and a master bedroom door leading to the bathroom. Okay. There are two doors. This wood is splitting. How would that be a yes. tenant's fault? I would have to see the It's picture. splitting right where a nail is. A nail was put in there by the person who put up the wood molding, and it's splitting above and below the nail. Why would a tenant be responsible for that? The paint is chipping. These are pictures of slice. the windowsill, and the paint is like chipping off of it because it hasn't been painted in 22 years. How is a tenant responsible for that? There's cuts in the, in the windowsills and the door frame here. That's a, I'm it's sorry. A I'm looking at that. Take a better look at it. It is cracked where mm -hmm. a nail is right in the center. That's mm -hmm. where it's cracked. But the nail wasn't in there when she first moved in there. This wasn't like that. Give, give me that, please. <clears throat> What is this a picture of that she did? All the windows still had to be touched up. It was not like that before at all. Um, and Do you expect that the tenant has to paint everything for you and, and, mm -hmm. and freshen up a 22-year apartment before she leaves? Let me see your lease. How is this her fault? What is this, this? Is, this is burned because it's right by this thing. How would that be the tenant's fault? I'll have to see that again. No, this is not burn. These are holes. It's not a burn. These are holes. In the two places where the heat, that, that pipe juts out. It's not a pipe. This is a, a, a cushion to brace um, the door when it opens oh, next to a wall. Oh, let me see. I thought it was some kind of heating pipe. No. It's so At the top of the door, it's a little... Yeah, I see exactly where it is. Okay. That corresponds to this, and that corresponds to this. Mm -hmm. It is physically on what? On the hinge? Yes. Then it's going to hit every single... That's Okay. I have the same this thing. This is where the pictures were glued on, right? Or taped on or whatever that ruined the wall. Yes. All right. You're deducting for re-grouting. It hasn't been grouted in 22 years, correct? But there was grit and dirt in between the tiles. It wasn't cleaned. What is this a picture of? Is this a hole in the wall that you want yes. to show me or a hole yes. in the carpet? No, Because there's something the dark on the carpet. In the wall. How'd that hole get there? I so we call that... Oh, I don't remember seeing okay. that old. I have pictures too. You now, know. you are suing her. I'm sure your pictures are going to show the place looking great because the tenant only takes those pictures. No, so I have her pictures that she has online, and I have my pictures. What do you mean her pictures she has online? Well, her trying to rent the apartment. Afterwards? Correct. What, what is that going to show me? They look very similar to the pictures I took when I left. Okay, but we know that she did a bunch of work on it to spruce well, it yeah, up. Well, yeah, so her pictures look fresh. My pictures look... Not as fresh. Okay. You are suing for double the security deposit because you feel she's not entitled to a penny. Correct. Even after I, I've shown you, like, how your daughter's pictures when they were... Well, we cleaned that. I don't know about cleaned it. I'm looking no, at I have it. A, I mean, you can't, I'll, I, you can't clean that. You have to... Scrubbed it. Yeah, well... We did scrub it. Can I call my witness up? Because he helped me clean. No. Uh, I, I want you to prove to me, no offense, by pictures... I don't want to hear your friend say, we cleaned it up real good. Because she's got pictures of an empty room with that. You know, the, the pictures your daughter had on the wall were already off by the time she takes her picture. So I assume she didn't take that picture until your daughter moved. Well, and you true. moved. That part is true. Yeah, I know. Did, did you find that lease I was asking you about? So it's either on page two of eight or three, where the tent's responsible. 
The only reference is the following. The tenant shall pay for all repairs, replacements, and damages caused by the act or neglect of the tenant. And, it's, and the law is mm. normal wear and tear is exempt from stuff. Mm. So there are some things here that are clearly normal wear and tear. Mm. You open and close the door over and over and attached to the hinge is something that stops it that ends up making a dent in it, you know, then, then that's normal wear and tear. If there's a split along the side of a nail and you're going to look at me and say, that nail wasn't there, why would the tenant put another, another flat finishing nail inside of the door frame? That's silly. Um, but you're going to show me just that the windowsills look like they need sprucing up, they need paint. This is stuff that typically falls on your shoulders, especially after 22 years. Now, this is missing. Where's that? The towel bar. Your Honor, when I first moved in, there was a plastic towel bar Yeah, there. I know. Where is it? And it was cracked, and I never replaced it, and neither okay. did she. Do you, are, you, are you deducting was, for that? Well, yes. Specifically, how much is that? The towel bar was not yes, cracked. Yes, how much is that? I'm going to assume it was there when you rented it. $115. Okay, show me proof that that plastic towel bar that goes inside of there is $115. The labor from the um, contractor was $100. The 15 came from me to buy it. So... Here? Yeah, let me see the proof so. of everything you just said. Mm -hmm. Replace towel bar and replace ventilation light bathroom fan is a total of 250. How am I to decide that the bathroom fan is only a, a you know what? It's mm -hmm. all rhetorical. What is this right here? That's what you left at the house. Plus and that, so hold on, hold on. So you have a counterclaim against her for $3,600 because you want $900 in storage fee from the day she left November till today for storing this. There's a second page on there too for more. So that's a oh, shade both of to these a blind. Things. Sorry. Shade to a blind and cake knife. So you should get $900 for storing. Would you pay $900 for somebody to store this that'll fit in a drawer? To my knowledge, if someone, a tenant leaves materials at a place where they rented before, they're charged for the rent for that. You're wrong. For the landlord to keep it. You're wrong. Okay. All right. Here's what the law is. I'm mm -hmm. going to tell you what the law is. All right. You haven't had much occasion to look it up because you've had the same tenant for 22 years. And what the months. law is, is that you cannot throw this stuff out in the first 30 days. Right. And then you can throw it out, take a video of you throwing it out, jump up and down on it and break <laughs> it and send it to her. Doesn't matter. Your only obligation is not to throw it out for the first 30 days. Mm -hmm. So no, you're not going to get $3,600 in storage. Mm -hmm. Let's talk to you. You're suing for the security deposit. We'll put a pin in that right now because that's the real meat and potatoes of the case. Right. You're also suing for $1,350 for not having an air conditioner for nine years from June to August at $50 a month. What you didn't have was central air conditioner, right? I had central air conditioning. Well, when you I moved did, in. and then when you didn't. In. Right. And it then broke. what you did was you bought a unit and you just used the unit in the I used summer. the unit only in my room because I'm not allowed to have it in the living room area. Why'd you keep signing up for more and more I leases just, if it was so unbearable? I wasn't saying it was unbearable, but I feel like I was paying for. Central I know, but air how would have. after you leave years and ye nine years later, you've been fine with it for nine years, and then magically, because now you're angry? I, I would have let it go, but right before I left, she kept sending me text messages that she wanted to have fixed. So she, I like. She wanted to have what fixed? The air conditioning. The HVAC, yeah. Right. She's, who's living there now? I just got a tenant in Sunday, but oh, he's okay. not there yet. He's not actually residing in the place yet, not for another week oh, or so. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, so so you want retroactively for me to order her to pay you $1,350 for something that you didn't care about until I now. I did care about. I've, I've asked her. Yeah, period. but you kept signing another lease? I know. Yeah, I all right. And then wait, this one's my favorite. Uh, no, actually, my favorite was $900 storage. Uh, <laughs> but this one is my favorite. For I didn't even know I had left those behind. Had I been told, I would have come and gotten them. I, I'm, I'm, well, you should know what you left behind. But I, I was leaving in a hurry. Well, she gave yeah, me I don't know what a hurry is. She gave you 60 days. <laughs> right. But that dovetails beautifully into this next thing we're about to talk about. Right. You are suing her for $1,490.42 because you wanted to get to the 5000 cap. Amount owed for asking you to move without a valid reason. Right. Without causable reason. Correct. 
What reason does well, she have to have for you well, to move? From what I saw and read, it said that when she asked me to leave, she had to give a specific reason. I, as no, to, she doesn't. Okay. Well. She doesn't. She it's the end person. of your lease. She right. has to give a specific reason. If you're in the middle of a lease and she wants you out and she evicts you, she has to give a specific reason you're being evicted, like what it is you breached. Right. She has to give you a three-day notice that specifies you didn't pay your rent or you, you know, got arrested and you know, it was a police okay. raid. You know, what, that's when she's got to get... But it's just the end of your lease. You don't own the place. I know you feel no. like you do. You've been there 22 years. You were comfortable there. <laughs> no, I didn't feel like I owned it. Right. Well, then she you don't have the right to it. The minute okay. she says you don't, you don't. So, right. no, you okay. don't get that. Got and it. no, you don't get this. And no, you don't get 3600 for storing the basket. And you, you're welcome to throw it out. Um, and let's see what we got here. What we really have is the question of how much, if anything, she is entitled to take from that security deposit based on these pictures. Did you have like a bad relationship with her? Did you feel like she no. was not a good tenant? She was agreeable at times. Cause I'm, I'm just so like, isn't there any part of you that says, wow, it's 22 years, you know? It's 22 years that she was there. There's a lot of wear and tear, but hey, mm -hmm. I didn't have to keep advertising. I didn't have to keep showing. I didn't have to keep getting new tenants. She was there, she paid the rent. I raised mm -hmm. the rent, she paid the rent. You know, she paid the rent and it was tolerable. Like, how is it that none of that goes into play when you decide if you're gonna keep her entire security deposit after all that time? Because there were issues you're with- You're kinda mean. <laughs> there were issues there were with issues. me being able to access or get access to her apartment What does that mean, that she demanded that she be there? Because she has that right. For inspections, for me to come in? Yeah, you know, yeah. you're supposed to give her notice okay. and then- Which you know, I did. Mm -hmm. Right, and Each then time. she's, you know, you have to schedule. arrange it at a time when the two of you could be there. What's right. the problem with that? Yeah, I did. And then there were repairs that she did not alert me about um, that I discovered during inspections that I had to do. My concern was to maintain the house, the upkeep of it, and I wasn't able to do that necessarily unless I knew what was going on. You know on. what? You overreached, ma'am. Okay. You wanted to yeah. spruce it up. I, I presume you're getting more rent now, right? Mm -hmm. How much are you getting now? Mm -hmm. 16. And how much were you paying again? Nine. Right. Well, well it kept going up. You right, know. but the final you were paying was nine, and now mm -hmm. she's able to get 16 right. after she spruced it up. Correct. Yeah. All right. Um, I find that you're entitled to keep $200 for the damages to the wall with the pictures. I find everything else to be wear and tear after 22 years. And that means that you're supposed to have returned $879.79 to her, and you live in a state where when you wrong, wrongfully withhold security, the plaintiff can request double that amount. You're from New Jersey. I am granting that request. So that $879.79 times two is $1,759.58 verdict for the plaintiff. On your claim against her, zero. Thank you. So it's a, a good day for the plaintiff. She prevails. She's going to get back seventeen hundred fifty-nine dollars from you mm -hmm. of the security. Okay. You okay? Yes. Smiling? Why are you smiling? It's whatever. You didn't happens. give her anything. Smiling. Now you, you got to <laughs> give her money back. That's all right. Okay. I own up to whatever you know is is uh, how can I say judged by a legal authority. All right. Thank okay. you very much. You must sign a few documents. And Ms. Ray is going to get some money back. Yes. It's a shame you had to go to court to get money back. Correct. But. Um, I'm just glad that we resolved it. And like the judge said, she's mean. You ever find out why she kicked you out? She wanted, to, my hunch is she wanted to go up on the rent. So. Okay, very good. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. I'm going to sign right. some documents outside. And uh, Harvey? Doug, each state has its own set of laws when it comes to returning security deposits. Most states say that the landlord has to send a notification itemizing what is deducted. And if the landlord doesn't do that in many states, penalties attach.